Phil cannot win. But the reality, John, is he's not going to win. Phil cannot win. Change the leadership. Phil Goff cannot win the election. I no longer believe it's possible for him to win the election. And we're not going to win under the present circumstances. And having a nice guy as leader, but a nice guy who's not going to win, is not going to do what we should be doing and the responsibility we have to our voters. Labour cannot win under Phil Goff. Changing our lever, leader gives us a chance to win. Uh, look, Phil Goff is a very nice guy, but he's just not going to win. Nice guy that Phil Goff is, hard worker that he is, good public speaker that he is, he's just not going to win the election. We can't win at the moment. Nice as Phil is, he's just not going to win. Uh, and the, a new leader might well give us that momentum to get things going change the leader to win. I'm saying publicly Phil Goff cannot win the next election. We need a new leader. I no longer believe it's possible for him to win the election. Phil Goff's chances of winning are almost non-existent. Phil Goff is a very nice guy, but he's just not going to win. I don't think Phil Goff can win the election. They're not going to win. Phil, it's bigger than all of us. The party is bigger than all of us. You have to reflect on whether or not you can do the job. I've reached the conclusion you haven't, that you can't. And I think most of our caucus have, and I think you know that. Phil, give up, become foreign minister in a Labour government, do whatever you like, but let somebody else have a shot. Oh, no, I got expelled, remember? Last year, from the Labour caucus, How? for saying that Phil Goff's a nice guy but can't win the election. You know, that, that was a really naughty thing to do, wasn't it? So. <laughs> That'll pretty much get you shoved out the back, won't you, Well, it Mark? did. I'm, uh, <laughs> I have to sit next to Honey Harawira now. I've never tripped up, I've, I've never, never stuffed up, up, I've, I've done the job.